welcome to Thank You Maintenance. Today I'm going to show you the mystery that is three-way switches. These are a little bit, only slightly tricky. That one switch on this side, well they use two switches to control the same light, such as a hallway. That switch way over there also controls the same light on this switch. The way this works is power comes in on one of the switches goes to this switch, let's say, on the bottom, or on the common screw, which I'll show you is slightly different than covered the other screws. Power comes in there. Or, on the other switch, power goes up to the lights. And then it's got these two wires that are travelers that bounce the power between both of the switches, so that the switches both work to turn the lights on or off. So that's, that's basically the tricky part, is making sure that that hot wire, the load wire, is in the right spot. Once that one's in the right spot, the other two travelers work in the to bring the power over. Let me pull this up out here, show ya. What we got going on. Now if you weren't sure, an easy way to do this is to just do them one at a time, <coughs> if you're not sure which one is the common wire, and then switch the deal around it if you need to, if it doesn't work right, so you, you know, turn off the power and replace this one switch, hook up the new one, and then turn the power back on and it's verified. <coughs> switch is a little light. Sorry, got a rough cold here, just trying to get over it, pull the flu, I don't know what it is. It's almost gone. Okay. There we go. Now that's ready, we can pull it out. My power is still alive. I wanted to kind of show you. Back here, the one switch on top here is black, so that's our common, and the other two are brass. Okay, so before we get any further, we turn the breaker out. Now the breaker's off, lights out, and it goes. going to be changing these out with some rockers today. Good idea if you have it to use a chirping alert device. This new one also has a ground port for a ground wire. <coughs> the old one did, did not have that. Right here is our common screw. You can see it's black in color rather than brass. So you just want to make sure that our common screw is hooked up to that bottom port. And just to confuse you, they wrote com common right in between. So it's very difficult to tell. I believe actually the middle port is the common screw. C-O-M and it's going to the middle. So we're going to match that common onto there. If that doesn't work, we'll need to switch it over. Again, it's a good idea to use a chirping alert device at this point, if you have it, to prove whether your power is actually out. This one is uh, quick connected. You can use quick connect or side wire. With the quick connect, you need like a flat blade screwdriver. Just the release button to pull the wire out. Anyway, there's our common screw. Again, that one's going to go to the middle wire here. This is a little labeling on the top and the bottom. We're going to go to the middle wire. Quick connect just pushes in like so. Okay. And our other two, it doesn't matter which position they're in as long as they're, as long as they're in. So. There's a little nub 
up on the top there. Yeah, we can add a ground wire to our ground back here. Or not, but if we want to make it safer, we can add a ground there. Of course, there's nothing, the box is plastic. This is plastic on the front here, so it's not too big a deal. But you can add a ground there if you wanted to. Anyway, now let's turn our breaker back on and check this puppy out. Here's all our breakers. Okay, and there's the switch there. I don't really need to turn them all on, just need to see if this will turn it off. And it does. And now we want to make sure that the other side turns it off and on. So it's on right now, and there's off. Now we want to make sure that the other side still works also. Turn it back on. It does. Okay, so we got that right. Nice and easy. Now we'll switch sides and do the other one before I put it all back together. So there we go. And the same thing. We're just going to watch for that. Final wire set up. There you go. You tell on this one, looks like the bottom wire here, black one. This one most likely power comes in down here, comes up to here, goes over to the light through the two travelers, comes up to the lights from the common screw to there, and switches of, co of course control from both sides. That's how it Gonna release all those wires again. Just like on the other side, that on screw is gonna go to that middle that middle port. Hotline. And kind of interesting, you can look at the wiring in back here to see the separate wire for the travelers. The two travelers are on one set of wires, and the hot incoming or up going to the light, most likely coming there, is on its own line there. So. <coughs> and the neutrals are all shared back there. For the travelers, it doesn't matter which side goes to which. Okay. Yeah, for the travelers, it doesn't matter which side goes to which. Get them in place. Oh, man. 
in. I pulled the wires back in. Before I get too far, I'll be testing it out. Again, there's an option of putting a ground wire on there to make it a little safer. Now it's come back and pick it out later. Anyway, here it goes, testing it out. And now the light's off. There it is on. Off, on. <coughs> and now we'll test it on from the other side. Make sure it actually controls from both sides. And it does. Good to go. I've got to replace the three-way switches. I just need to grab a jumper wire. I jump from the ground to the ground. Reset the, the uh, wiring. Reset the switches in the boxes. Put my covers on. Good to go. That's the three-way switches. And that's how you can wire them up. Nice and easy. Good to go. Mystery.